Hello everyone, this is Ghost in the Tower. Welcome back to another episode of Steampunk Minecraft. Last episode, we raided the ancient mines, and this episode, we are going to be making some ancient mines of our own as I build a railway to a faraway land and literally move mountains for the sake of capitalism. Let's get started. As I returned home from the ancient mines, I ran into a couple of mountains on the way back. After the Caves and Cliffs update, mountains are known for their large quantities of iron and coal, two resources that I am constantly running out of. And since I refuse to infinitely farm any of those re resources due to religious reasons, I devised a plan. If I were to build a mining center here, I could strip this entire mountain of all the iron and coal I could ever need, so that's exactly what I set out to do. I started by building my railroad to the mountains. Narrow gauge because it suited the environment better. I have to use trains because while I can fly here and back on my plane or my blimp, I can't carry nearly as much materials as a train car could. So I made basic temporary track laying trains and I set off laying my tracks all the way up into the mountains. Whoa, that is a lot of you. Damn it. Should have picked a nicer mountain to work at. Uh, let's see, where's my, my six rails? That should be enough. Ooh, it fits right in line. Lovely. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to, uh... Uh... 
chest for now. You can always make a better one later. Okay, for now, I think I'm going to take this train. Oh, I don't have enough iron to make what I want to make. Never mind. I'm gonna grab a couple iron out of here, then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make my new train. I'm gonna need somewhere to put this train though, so that's something I gotta think about. Now that the railroad was finished, I needed something better to drive around than the ugly terraforming drill cart. No, I needed to be riding in style. So I went home and I built a fancy custom brand new locomotive. I wasn't sure what theme I was going for with my railroad yet, and I found a locomotive that I liked online, and uh, well... Anyway, this is my brick. Say hello to the brick. Okay, don't laugh. It's supposed to look like a brick on wheels. This is the locomotive that I was referencing here on the screen. And I covered it in sand, since so it's usually driving around a desert. I made a horrible looking cart to pull behind it, and then I was back off to the mountains to enact my next plan. I love my brick. He's so fast. the type of engine this is, I think there's only a couple of them, it's used at a steel mill. It's weird. It's like, it's not an actual, like, run around track train. It's just like a, uh, it moves stuff at the steel mill and that's cool. I liked it. It looks stupid. I wanted it. Whoa, don't hit that. nighttime so once I got back I started towering into the sky I had a plan the mountain was just too steep to build on it easily so I'd make a machine to shave the entire the top of the mountain flat I grabbed all my drills that I got from the tinkerers workshop cobbled something together and I let it rip
Okay, I've just gotten back from uh, taking a very long shower. Let's see how. Uh oh. These both filled up. This didn't take any gravel whatsoever. Oh, the filter. Anyway, I need to go. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ow. I'm going to go. Oh, hi, skeleton horse. Yeah, a couple of those guys spawned. I saw them in the time lapse, but I couldn't go to go stop and go get one. Because, well, time lapse. So this is finishing the final layer right now. And then this whole area is going to be as flat as the platform. And then once that turns off and it comes back, I'm going to shut off the drills and we're going to have our little quarry area here. I don't want this to dig out the whole thing. So we're going to watch the rest of this finish from up here. And uh, it's going to be pretty fun, I guess. I don't know. It's taken considerably longer with each pass, which I guess is to be expected. But uh, we've gotten quite a bit of iron out of this, it looks like. Can't wait to go actually tally it up, because I'm pretty sure we're down to one stack right now at home. So, uh, let it do its last pass, come back, and then we'll go count up the numbers. And we're back, and there's still a considerable amount of iron on the surface. This machine is done for now. I might take it off in the future. Let's go down and see the numbers! I love numbers. Okay, I'm lazy and I have feather falling. Hey, you see something? Where's my... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, where's my gun? Anyway, let's see what goodies we have. A whole bunch of cobble. Two whole stacks worth of iron in here, and there's probably some iron in there as well, so. Any iron in here? Oh, that's it. Huh. Okay, so this is gonna be our next big, um, I don't want to call it a city center, but our next big build area. I want to have a giant quarry that goes all the way down because somewhere underneath here, I don't have the cave map, there is an ancient city below here. There's a village over there. I need to go visit that village. I need to go pillage that village. Anyway, so, yeah. Quarry. Let's get started, I suppose. After giving the mountain a flat top fade, I put in a small power plant to fuel my future endeavors here. Then I modified my track laying train and began digging an even, even deeper hole for the quarry to be placed in. Between recording sessions, I had added the mod Pollution of the Realms because my endeavors to destroy this world are never ending. Because I was so high up, I was at the Y limit where the carbon and sulfur accumulates at, so you could see it directly above my head as I worked. Damn it. busy harassing one of my friends. Now I feel better now that cloud of deadly poisonous gas is out there. Not because I'm scared of the effects it will have on me, but I'm scared of it exploding. Ooh, it's smuggy. It's smuggy smuggy up here. After digging the hole, I finished up by cobbling together a wash plant to feed all my mined goods to. The design was simple. Everything goes in, the valuables separate, 
and the rest get processed into iron or clay, which I will use in my next project. What more ore did I get? Oh, I got more ore. Lovely. Anyway, that is all I have for you this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a wonderful time watching. This episode took multiple weeks to record because I have no life besides this. And now I have like 24 plus hours of footage to record through. So I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.